and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Dreadway combo. This is going to be our next meme tier Monday deck today. Let's have some fun. Our combo is this new card, the Dreadway, 9 mana, 4, 8, but double all damage dealt by allies. So we need this in play, and then we play Commander Ledros, another 9 drop, which has whenever you play it, you deal damage to the enemy nexus equal to half the health, round it up. Well, if you double it, it's dealt, you know, it's dealt by an ally. So if you double it, half rounded up, doubled, that's a hole. So we are going to be having one shot kill no matter what their life total is. If you have Dreadway in play and then play Ledros, you know, they're just dead. <laughs> so that's, that's our plan. Hey, what's up, noob? Doing good, doing good. All right, so we are playing... Um, you know, Bilgewater, Shadow Isles, because that's what we got. And we're just playing, like, kind of a, kind of a bunch of good cards. Um, and just, you know, nothing... Like, basically, yeah, we're just playing a bunch of good cards together. I've been really impressed with Coral Creatures. Honestly, every time I play this card, it looks good. It gets us, like, that random one-cost spell. Where the one-cost spells aren't necessarily, like, powerful enough for you to be, like, throwing in your deck. But they are very useful. And so I've really liked this card. Our champions, you know, we got Twisted Fate, which is <clears throat> good, you know, good at making games go longer with you being able to pick out whatever you want, like with the card. Going with Gangplanks as well, just a 5 mana, 5-5 five, five Overwhelm, get a Powder Keg, not bad. We probably won't be leveling up Gangplank too much, but, you know, sometimes we will. But our deck's not really about the level up, but the other reason why Gangplank is important is because Dreadway... Uh, whenever you play it, you get to draw a Gangplank. So you do want Gangplanks in your deck. And then we'll have Rekindlers, because uh, both Twisted Fate and Gangplank are good things to get back with Rekindler. So yeah, we'll be we'll be having these Rekindlers. Um, I guess... Huh. I guess Rekindler Twisted Fate isn't as good as I thought now that I realize that this is a play trigger. It's not a summon trigger. So if you get, get it back with Rekindler, you don't get a card. Hmm. That's unfortunate, but oh well. <clears throat> this other five mana card that I've been really impressed with is is Razor Scale Hunter. You know, our deck's not really about scout or anything. This is just a good card, and like I said, like we're just putting some good cards together, and uh, I like like some Razor Scale Hunter. I'm playing one Mist Call because of like these expensive creatures, because of Rekindler, Ledros, Dreadway. If we play one of these and then they kill them, I'll be sad. So we could maybe have a Mist Call for some protection. Um. But, uh, yeah, and we could, you know, miss call a Yordle Grifter, Grifter or something, or just our champions. Um, yeah, so there's just kind of like a, you know, just a kind of a hodgepodge of pretty good cards and cards that I like. And we're putting them in here, and let's have some fun. All right, we're going to go play five games. Oh, I already had it over in a ranked Dreadway combo right here. So, Meme Tier Monday. We don't always get the most wins on Meme Tier Monday, but we have some fun. And hopefully we can get some combo kills. Uh, <laughs> reviving a 2-2 seems so bad, but the thing is, think of how, think of how amazing Twisted Fate is leveled up, so just reviving the 2-2 that just gives the, the, the threat of, if this stays out and levels up, it's absolutely amazing. You know, so like, it's not like you're reviving a useless 2-2, you're reviving a 2-2 that your opponent has to use more removal on. Any, what's up, Ruvalis? Yeah. Yeah, definitely check out that Ash Poros VOD. Said you just missed that. Um... It's fun. I mean, Poros are great. All right, let's get rid of these two top end cards. Are we, oh, we're playing against Jinx. We'll get rid of this also. They're gonna be super aggro. And I'm thinking that Rekindler most of the time is gonna be bringing back Gangplank. To be honest. Spending seven mana for a four-four plus a twisted fate without the ability, I, I don't really think that's a, a bad card. I mean, I'm, I would be willing to do that. Dang. 
Pilfer Goods is burst speed, so it's not like I have to cast it right now. If we need to try to hit a removal spell from them, we can. All right, let's do it now. Because, like, hitting, like, a, a get excited from them would be great. That would save us four life. Terror of the Deep, the actual worst sea monster to hit, the most expensive one. So against the burn deck, we're getting the most expensive Fish sea monster. Alright, so we'll have Twisted Fate uh, do the gold card to kill Crimson Disciple. But, you know, our, our slow, derpy combo deck that's trying to set up some some 9-mana uh, combo cards is probably going to die to the Hyper Burn deck. Probably just how it is. Especially when they keep on having this combo. That's so good. <laughs> Rex says I tried dying, didn't like it. Forgot you never never lost yet. I don't think there's any life gain one mana cards that we can hit off coral creatures or like counter spells or anything like that. I don't think. Yeah, great hand. Crimson Disciple is busted. Yeah, I mean, it's not busted. I mean, it's just really, really good. Oh, yeah, I guess Health Potion. Yeah, Health Potion. That would have been one I could have hit. But I think it only gets it from our regions, though, right? But yeah. Yeah, so I think it only creates from our regions. But yeah, Health Potion, that is, that is definitely the one... Um, One mana spell. So we're playing Karina Control. Guess I keep Withering Whale to counter Brood Awakening. It's just my best answer to Brood Awakening. Alright, come on, Hapless Aristocrat. Hit him. Turn on plunder. Yeah. Look at this. We may actually level up Gangplank this round. Thank you. Come on, take some Ledros. Ledros. No, Ledros. Just four crappy removal spells. Or sorry, not four, three. It's three crab removal souls. I wanted to hit Veraza and Ledros. That's what I want to hit. Or even just some other threats, but not, not these things.
Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you could play a lease instead of gangplank to help against aggro. Then you wouldn't you wouldn't have anything for the dreadway to go grab. Um, I also don't. I mean, gangplank's also pretty decent against aggro because it's such a big body. But you know, you obviously have to have other things on turns one through four. But it can really help stabilize and also just uh, end the games, which is something that you need to do against aggro. Correct, yeah, a two-mana two, two mana two three is a good blocker and also at least puts out extra 1-1s. One you know, you attack with Elise, you get an extra 1-1. One one. If they don't block that 1-1, one one, then you got another 1-1 one one on defense. Um, hand's pretty awkward. I don't get to... It's turn 6 and I don't get to double spell. Play this gotcha. These are like all cards I want them to have. I want them to have like their gotchas and thermogenic beams and grasps and stuff like that. I've... We haven't stolen the right cards. Imagine if we would have stolen all three Ledros from them. Like they would, the game would just be over. options. So many options. All right, that, that happens. Um, Definitely worst case scenario. Problem with, like, so I want to play that to keep this thing around, but the problem with playing that is, um, oh, never mind, never mind, never mind what I was going to say about the problem playing that. Never mind. Just never mind. So 
They're down to 24 cards. So we can assume they're playing Ledros or Veraza. Yeah, Karma has got a couple of new upgrades. They have a really good divination and they got some good two drops. The metagame has hurt Karma as though, because it's kind of slow for what for what everybody's doing. the Allegiance so we don't get to take a card from their deck. Yeah, that pilfered it. Yeah, the, the drawing card animation is kind of slow. Get more cur Okay, yes, two more Ledros is gone. That's good. Summon and, and round start. Summon a power keg. Never lost a fair game. Alright, stun that thing. So right now, all right. So basically, I'm casting that first, leveling up Gangplank right away. I, because I don't want like Gangplank makes a powder keg here. I don't want to like make a powder keg and then do that thing that only does the two damage. Oh, right. Powder keg vulnerable. That's the thing. Eh, whatever. We keep making them at the round start. do this right now before they play four more things get played okay we don't kill Karina Veranza yet so this is gonna do eight damage to them put them down to seven
worth at least twice as much. This is putting me down to four. Assuming they just play uh, Ledros again next turn. Gross. Gross. So obviously I was gonna challenge there and then attack for eight. I just wanted to see what we got off the Jowl Hunters first and see if they played anything else and didn't know about the other thing. Come on. You're not making this easy. Oh wait, I should be, oh I should be blocking those the other way around, shouldn't I? right yeah they didn't do anything this is uh, overwhelm awesome we won the ledros me or the against karina veranza very nice all right we get to go open up this uh was that a wild capsule yes it is get some wild cards Maybe. Maybe, Wild Capsule. Maybe not. It like, like doesn't seem like we have it. All right, we'll, we'll do that later. All right, haven't drawn our Dreadway yet. We kind of need that for our combo, for Dreadway combo. We need, we need both pieces. <laughs> yeah, ser servers are, are having some issues today. It's all good, though. I did, because of the, you know, like, the login rewards with the seventh day today being the Ash deck, which um, somebody on, on YouTube actually commented they've been uh, having some success with that Ash deck. Um, but anyway, you know, you got two free Ashes, which obviously I already had three three Ashes. And so what it actually did is it gave me two other champions since I had Ash already. And so I needed two Lee Sins. Those are the last champions, and they gave me two Lee Sins. So have all the champions now. We're ready to just start building the shard collection for the next set already. Yeah, that is cool how they swap that out. Usually I'd want to 
get rid of Jaw Hunters because of all the things they do with one mana, but it does Jaw Hunters does replace itself. I don't know, maybe I should be mulliganing it anyway. Well, that's like my good thing about Jaw Hunters, is it does take out Elise. <laughs> Alright. Coral creatures, what are you doing? I was just talking you up. I was just talking you up. What are you doing? Yeah, they, they, well, yeah, they told us that they were getting Nash deck basically at the beginning of the week, at the beginning of the rewards. But yeah, we did, didn't know before that. Um. I don't know why they let me go to combat first and do that and then turn on plunder and trigger gangplank. Like, they could have just done that first and then I can't attack with my 1-1. One -one. Give me a Ledros. Always these crappy cards. Never Ledros or Karina. Never led Rosa Karina. Always up for a round or two. Yeah, I mean, Brood Awakening's really not that good against Kareen, against their deck. Like, it's really not. Um, in other matchups, yeah, it's it's good, but this matchup, not so much. Not so much. Getting rid of this Vi is gonna be problematic. What? They just passed? Okay. They wanted me to play something better. Draw meme deck is about the the new four mana Bilgewater. I think it's Bilgewater. Maybe maybe PNZ. The four mana card that whenever you play a two mana card, you draw a fleeting, and then it's just that with tons and tons of two drops. So I make it rain to trigger Merchant and play Merchant, so I can do one damage to Vi and then steal one of their cards, or I get three two ones and attack with them and basically do one damage to Vi and then do four damage to them and have some two ones left. Um, I feel like this is the better option. You know what? I'm attacking with that thing.
I could have waited till after attackers, but it's a lot of damage they're attacking with. Vi is so good. So young. Here comes the Come on, I used so many cards to get rid of that other one. All right. That seems pretty sweet. Paint their decks with blood. Now we just got top deck Ledros. Yeah, I take recommendations for sure, Pawn. I yeah, I mean I I built all these all five of these decks today, but I I definitely take um, suggestions for me Monday for next week. This is my lineup for today. You know, I'm not, like, but for next week. I am open to suggestions. Come to the light. Wow, they just took it. Come on, Ledros! So it says by allies. So did this count? So all these things just do double? Skitter out from the darkness. It looks like it. Do I just fire all this stuff off? Okay, because I'm considered an ally. So I kind of want to play Yordle Grifter and Gangplank this round. Which means I would have two mana. That's convenient. That was probably the best target for that. Doesn't kill their... Or no, like the Ledros dies here anyway in combat. Oh no, it's not going to, because the Dreadway is going to be dead. So no, it won't die. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, Plunder Karma. Yeah, that's a good meme, meme Monday. Yeah, with like the, the steal, steal a card from your hand, but try to get a leveled up Karma so you steal two cards. I like that. Get a burn spell? That's not a burn spell. Alright, switched it. Instead of playing Gangplank, went, went with this thing instead. Why can't I steal those? So we make it rain, put them down to four. Thermogenic beam, kill this. Go straight to attacks. Or I play skitter. Go to attacks, put them down to three, two, one. to do here. How do we get this last point of damage across? Will 
feel like if they're playing removal, then, then they're probably not playing... Oh, darn, I can't stop that. Can't stop them from gaining that life. So then they're not replaying Ledros. Yeah, I was, hope, I was hoping to full attack and like afterwards, you know, get like a powder keg out and like, you know, maybe end up or like beginning a turn level up, maybe get a second powder keg, like make it rain for like three. Will this do three damage for two mana? I guess it would, right? I assume this will do three damage. Yep. All right. Well, that's not bad. Got a Mystic Shot out of their hand when I'm at four life. <laughs> that's pretty important, getting Mystic Shot out of their hand. They really wanted to save that Ledros. They, you know, instead of just play Ledros, um, and then put me to two and then Mystic Shot me. They did not want to do that. It is risky if I just want to ruin... Yeah, no, I, I can't really ruination. We're going to have to wither whale. Hopefully it's three or less damage. And we don't kill rekindlers. We need... No, five... Gross. Do not test my patience. All right. Well, if they have another Mystic Shot, I die. But my best play is playing another Gangplank. Dead men tell my tale. I've already played a couple Mystic Shots. Yay! Don't have another one. Let's go. I'll show him pain. Light him up. They had to have just top decked that, right? Yes. Just the first damage. Powder cake only only boost the first damage. Like the first spell or ability that does damage. Gangplank's been looking pretty good, especially Gangplank Rekindler. Gangplank Rekindler has been nice. GG's. All right, we haven't gotten our combo yet, but Dreadway. Speaking of Dreadway, Dreadway was good that game. All right, Vimerdinger control. I'll take it. Oh yeah, there's a bug on the scoreboard, isn't there? 
On my end, it says uh, 2, 1. Let me see if I just hit the space bar. Yep, there it shows up. Backspace. All right, there we go. Sometimes it does that, like the, a bug, just like the, the number doesn't show up for some reason. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Hey, Mamba. <laughs> yeah. They don't like they don't like wins on meme tier Monday. It's like that. So if we play two plus spells, then we can have this be a one mana thing, one mana draw two. Wow. We're gonna get some one mana draw twos up in here. Sweet. Who's got the card advantage now? <laughs> yeah, Mama Man, it wasn't. That that tier list is not close to correct. Oh, well, I mean it's close to correct, I guess, but yeah, it didn't didn't look good. Um let's see. Attack here, attack here and here. Could see just passing also, so they're not using this mana, but I expect them to play Heimerdinger next turn, most likely. And yeah, I don't get to reduce the cost anymore, but we need to pressure them and get those plunder triggers. Vi is pretty good, and Gangplank does not match up very well against Vi. Dude, I have an atrocity in my deck. That's pretty sweet. That's that's exactly what we're doing, Mamba. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing right now. Now I gotta do another three damage to Vi. Which we can do with this get excited.
Even with the, with Vi Atrocity twice today? Ooh, ouch. Alright, how are we doing on cards? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 9, 10. They're probably just protecting Vi, aren't they? Oh, we're gonna find out. We're playing all your spells against you. Uh, it's basically impossible to kill Vi in this deck whenever they're playing, you know, Twin Disciples and their Disciplines, Twin Disciplines. And the Barrier Lifesteal card. It's more likely that I play this Terror or the Hapless Aristocrat. This thing's a 6-5. Yeah, I'm never playing that thing. Hopefully they try Barrier and then I can make it rain. Darn. We don't have any of our combo pieces. Where's our combo? One and two. How the heck do we ever kill this card? Besides, we don't. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be honest. I hate protection champ decks. Does make life pretty difficult. Okay, okay. Maybe you can do something, Twisted Fate. I am reborn of salt and bright. I want this in so we can start getting some more uh start stacking up some powder kegs. You know how rude that is? Yes, yes, again. We have so many cards, we're just never gonna be able to play them. We don't have the mana to play all of our all of our stuff. I know, right? There's no manners these days. I'm just playing Gangplank. Clear up some turrets. This will presumably do two damage to Heimerdinger as well. Nope, guess not. Yes, yes, again. Oh, 
We played this, you know, we played this deck yesterday and it looked pretty good. Uh, let's see. I think I just pass. So I'll have 13 mana next turn. I mean, I can do this whole pick a card. I don't think that's really worth it, though. <laughs> yeah, the monkey's great. Oh, damn. Oh, no. Powder monkey. That's our next deck. We're playing monkey prankster. We're playing powder monkey. You can also, like, click on him. Alright, Gangplank's attack trigger. <laughs> we got a Mystic Shot. We got a Mystic Shot that thing and not my Twisted Fate. Do you need to start killing this Vi, I guess. Nice. I will take that trade. I hope they don't have another Vi. Of course they do. <laughs> I think it's a I think it's a 10 six I think this is a visual bug um but yeah it's a it's a 10 six the problem is the six with the toughness gangplank doesn't deal with that that's the real problem Shuffling another Heimerdinger back in. No, didn't kill the Heimerdinger. That will kill Vi, though. So that's th and that will kill this thing. Three damage to each of them. I 
I kind of feel like playing twist the the uh, pick a card this turn because then that will level up. Twisted Fate. Wow, using get excited on my powder kegs. What if I just twin discipline the powder kegs? No, it's better to do this and get Heimerdinger off the board and then they don't get the 3-1. I guess this does mean that I'm not killing Vi, though. But that's alright, we'll, we'll figure that out. We'll figure it out. Um... It would be nice to get these treasures in my deck before I pick a card, but I want to level up Twisted Fate. So I'm taking five, going down to nine. Ugh, I do need to kill this Vi. Sorry, coral creatures? Actually, maybe I get rid of the hoarder. Yeah, let's keep the cheaper cards. They use removal on Twisted Fate. I, I have Twin Disciplines to protect. They're just the the uh, three mana. We'll draw four cards, level up. And then once we level up, gold card could kill Vi. This is so mean. Obviously, I want to play the Dreadway. It's part of our combo. Then if I do that, then I have to get rid of these cards. And that kind of takes up my whole turn. Whoa, Twisted twisted Fate, too much, too good. Please. Opponent was like, I don't think I can deal with that. Twisted Fate. <laughs> That's what they get for using. Get excited. Update. Are we updating? Looks like we're updating. Let me update, update. Alright, our Dreadway combo meme deck is 3-1. We have not um, put together the Dreadway combo yet. That's true. Dreadway Twisted Fate is probably pretty powerful as well. That's true. I kind of want to just play the, the two two drops though, especially the one that would steal a card because we would we would play the coral creatures first, get the red card, do one damage to all their stuff, including them. So then we would trigger plunder and then play the thing that was going to steal the card and then I would still have a whole bunch of mana to do more things. Okay, Rekindler gone, and Hunter's gone. Hunters may not be that bad. Trades with Boom Crew Rookie. That's pretty difficult to trade with Boom Crew Rookie. But I'm glad we mulliganed it so that we have, you know, we wouldn't have had uh, the hapless aristocrat blocking Foreman here.
What are you? Summon a random one-cost follower from any faction. All right, what do we get? Maybe we get the elusive Poro. Oh, the sinister Poro. Your Draven time. Sweet. That worked out well. Let's go twist of fate. Stun that Draven. Stun that Draven. Draven is stunned. No. Eh. That's not more damage at me. Can't be mad. Yeah, Sinister Poro. Boom, boom. why coral creatures is great. We can still withering whale. Hmm. I only gained two life, but we kill that two one. Fervor didn't go face. If you, you know, like they're using a lot of resources, they don't have that much left. We're at 18. I mean, obviously, they're going to keep drawing more. Quickly. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yes. Yes. No, not the thing they can't block. Oh, that's like the worst card we could hit. The card that can't block. I can do this. We each died, then found home. Fortunately, Twist of Fate doesn't give us another um another trigger. Yeah, awesome beast. Yeah, this deck's, yeah, this game's really fun, isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. Okay. Not bad. Again, that's a get excited. It's not going face. The more that don't go face, the better. Now we got two rooks out of here. Attack. Taking it all. I'll try anyway.
Still want to waste all this mana. No. All right. Twist the fate down. That's what's up. We're not casting the Mist Call, but we get a Gangplank and a Yordle Grifter. That's cool. Um, I guess it's better to play the Yordle Grifter first. Yeah, you don't want to cross me. Let's boogie. Fire everywhere. One good turn, a eh, friendo. I'll be surprised if we lose this game. This is at uh you die. Okay, yeah. So like their their um things didn't level up my gameplay. I didn't think so. Like it didn't look like it did, and so I just wanted to throw it, throw that warning shot out there. Uh do you think Garen Bannerman will be better in the future versus the current Quinn flavor? I kind of just from like the last couple of days, yeah, it it has felt that um, that Garen and Unyielding Spirit and stuff kind of feels better than Quinn and Misfortune. Hey, Sponge Pedro! Oh, new expansion is awesome. Brought a lot, and plus all these all this pirate stuff from Bilgewater is really cool. The Bilgewater theme song's great. Yeah, new set. Huge, huge thumbs up. Anyway, Dreadway, Dreadway combo. So uh, kind of like I was talking about at the beginning of this video, this deck just has a lot of good cards. And, um, you know, this is just a, a good solid mid-range deck, it felt like. I know it was on our, our meme tier Monday uh, because we have like this, this combo at the top. But obviously we're not relying on the combo. We're trying to get there. We got two of each card, but we, we never did um, in any of these games. So... I'm sorry about that. You know, we didn't get to pull pull off the combo and, you know, show it off. So that's unfortunate. But the, the deck still just plays pretty well. It just kind of has a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, you know, Plunder was really good. These Pilfered Goods. Oh, I'm surprised I only had two Pilfered Goods in here because of how good they were. Um, but yeah, Black, Black Market Merchant did a lot of work. Hapless Aristocrat really helped this deck because of the Plunder stuff. Um, like they didn't want to block hapless aristocrat and, and everything and get that damage in. Gangplank was awesome. It was a good solid gangplank deck. <clears throat> gangplank rekindler, pretty strong. Uh, no, yes, yeah, all their life is removed because it doubles the it doubles the damage, and so this does half round up, and then it doubles it. So it, so yeah, it's just a one shot kill. Dreadway plus Ledros. I know, right? That's insane. I know, but we, we didn't get to do it ever, unfortunately. I only drew Dreadway one time. Um, and it was actually really good because it got us a Gangplank. And the Gangplank that it got us was actually the Gangplank that won the game a lot later on. Uh, you know, like, you know, five to ten turns down the road. But the actual Dreadway um, let a Rekindler attack for eight. And it also traded with a Vi. And so it actually did. So it did very well. Yeah, Ledros was changed to rounded up. Um, I don't know, about six weeks ago or so. Uh, whenever, or maybe maybe two months ago. It, it used to be eight mana, and then they changed it to nine mana. But then round up instead of round down. At that point. All right. So there we go. Successful meme tier Monday deck. Um, again, 
y'all watching on YouTube, in that comment section, let me know what do you want to see next week? What do you want me to build? And, uh, you know, I'll always take those suggestions um, for, for next week's Meme Tier Monday. All right, but that's it here for Dreadway Combo. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.